yes, we are looking at yet another power supply. I know that not all of you are as fascinated by them as I am, but I feel like PSUs are a very important and crucial component of our system. Today we see the return of another Cougar GEX power supply on this channel. Meet the GEX 1050 80 plus gold certified 1050 watt unit coming with a 7 year warranty. Unfortunately for today's model it's still quite difficult naming precise pricing since it hasn't been on the market for long yet and availability still needs to improve. Still I was able to find prices of 160 to all the way up to 330 US dollars right now. The latter being a little steep compared to the competition's offerings. But then again, pricing is still all over the place. Generally speaking, we as the consumer tend to buy products at reasonable prices anyway. So it's often wise to just wait for the right deal to come around. Should you even consider buying this PSU? What has it got to offer? What are its features? And is it actually built well, both externally and internally? The scope of delivery is fairly standard, meaning we get the PSU itself, all the cables to plug in, and lastly a quick start guide along with a single velcro strap and four screws. To be clear, the GEX 1050 is still based on the widely used ATX 2.4 spec and not the latest 3.0. But do not worry, it has been proven many times by now, there are no issues even with the latest and greatest graphics cards out there, etc. I also want to point out that this unit comes in at a length of 180 mm, making it slightly longer than most models out there. For an output power of over 1000 watts, perfectly normal though. Of course, this is a fully modular unit. Every single cable is therefore removable as it should be these days. With an output power of 1050 watts, opinions will differ because Cougar still decided to go with a powerful single rail design, which means that the entire 87.5 amps are on a single 12 volt rail. For safety reasons, some prefer multi rail, but both designs have their advantages and disadvantages. According to the specifications, we are looking at continuous 1050 watts even at an ambient temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. On top of that, we are also getting the 80 plus gold certification here, all that being fairly standard these days though, which also applies to the protections in place. I don't want to greatly praise any of that, since that's what I come to expect from each and every power supply nowadays. I think it's good that unlike with their GEX 850, Cougar uses a 135mm HDB fan on here. However, it only kicks in starting at a load of 40% at around 800 RPM and upwards as the load increases. On the power input, there's even a little note reminding us about the unit's zero noise mode. As is often the case, I wish the consumer was given more choice. While many people approve of the zero noise mode, there are still a bunch of us out there who would like to see constant ventilation happening at low fan speeds for power supplies. By the way, I'm also part of that group. A dedicated button or switch could have easily done the trick. I think it's a bit of a shame that the manufacturer didn't take this opportunity. Apart from that, the cable length is to be considered as fairly respectable. All cables are of the type flat ribbon, which I personally have always really liked. But at the end of the day, it's of course a matter of preference. Some simply prefer sleeved cables, that's fine. In terms of connectivity, we have the following. One 24 pin power connector, one CPU 8 pin, one CPU 4 plus 4 pin, eight PCIe 6 plus 2 pin, 12 SATA, and four Molex. All right, I guess it's time to take a look at the GEX 1050's internals then. I'd like to warn you that opening up power supplies and touching any of the components in there is very dangerous and can be life-threatening under certain circumstances. One of the first questions I tend to ask myself is, which OEM actually built this unit? If you're asking me, I immediately sense it's a platform by HEC. And surprisingly, we are dealing with a Fullbridge LLC topology here, also on board SR technology slash synchronous rectification and needless to say DC to DC conversion. HEC have built both low quality and very high quality units in the past and this is probably one of their better efforts. 
it's also kept super tidy and cables are kept at a bare minimum. So technically, the GEX 1050 seems pretty respectable. However, I must emphasize and let you know that in no way can I be called a professional when it comes to electronics, such as power supplies. Sadly, I only know the basics and can't even carry out most important measurements due to the lack of testing equipment. Still, I always like paying close attention as to which capacitors all those individual manufacturers use in their PSUs. On the primary side, there are two electrolytic 420 volt, 470 microfarad ones by the Japanese brand Nijikan. These withstand a temperature of up to 105 degrees Celsius without any issue. On the secondary side, however, to save costs, Cougar decided to scrap Japanese caps and instead went with ones by Tipo, which are from Taiwan. These also are rated for up to 105 degrees, though. In the long term, Tipo has become pretty renowned as far as longevity is concerned. Here and there, you'll also spot a few Japanese caps by Nippon Chemican. As for polymer capacitors, I discovered a few by the brand Elite. So the choice of capacitors appears to be very decent, there isn't really much to criticize. Now in order to be able to provide at least some data, I carried out voltage tests both at idle and at medium PSU load. At very low loads, today's GEX 1050 performs almost exemplary. With a load of over 400 watts, however, the 12 volt rail slightly deviates from its ideal value more than I'm normally used to, but there's no need to worry about this. The 5 and 3.3 volt rails, on the other hand, perform extremely well. My quick and dirty efficiency test once again shows that we're dealing with a standard 80 plus gold unit. The achieved results are therefore very much as expected. One can't complain. Conclusion. Overall, the Cougar GEX 1050 appears to be a solid PSU. I'd say it's safe to pick one up, especially seeing how much faith Cougar has in their unit, backing it up with a 7-year warranty. Even I, as someone who tends to install only the best of the best as far as PSUs go, would go ahead and safely install this unit into my system. Although for me, the biggest downside here being the zero noise mode that's forced upon us. A lot of brands do it, but it's not really an excuse in my eyes. I think it would be much better if those individual brands finally gave us full control over the fan and don't specify a fixed operation mode for the fan. As I said, a button or switch to select a desired fan mode would have been great. Apart from that, the Cougar GEX 1050 impressed me. In the end, the actual price and availability will determine whether or not one gets near to purchasing that particular PSU. If the price ends up being realistic, I see no reason to ignore this power supply. For the most part, it's a pretty good product, I'd say. With that being said, thanks a lot for watching and until the next one.